Now, the Miss Office, a lot of people don't know you, you was on that joint. That's my shit. Talk, talk about mm-hmm. that. And uh, I'm, I'm not mistaken, well, you weren't on the video, right? Nah, bro. Nah. And, and that's that's what kind of like, caused the uh, like the split between me and Wayne. You feel me? Because I felt like, like I, like I was saying, bro, like, you know, everybody knew a nigga, you know, my voice and the music, but nobody knew my face. And yeah. as big as a song that was, you know, me being in that video would have took me to superstar status and shit right. like that. You know what I'm saying? And I felt like me not being in that video, bro, like, like nah, bro, like I couldn't nah, bro. We gotta, we gotta talk. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you know, like we gotta talk, you know what I'm saying? For real, bro. And, and at the time he was, you know, you know what I'm saying, like on his on his high horse. And and I was like, well, look, you know what I mean? Like, I ain't coming back around like it's all good like i can't do that you know what i'm saying unless we really have a you did like we gotta talk about this bro you know what i'm saying right what was his reasoning and not putting you on it i don't hey man like hey i don't know yeah you gotta ask him you know what i'm saying for real loved it like i ain't even know niggas was even shooting the video Wow. You me? Cause I, yeah, bro, because I was doing, like, around that time, you know, I had a lot of my people that had evacuated to Atlanta, where I was, and all of us was in Atlanta. So, you know, I was scrambling, doing all kind of shit, you know what I'm saying, to make sure my people right, you hear me? Right. And once I, you know, came up with the bread and shit, you know, to get them right, Cause you know, you know, like nigga, I had my baby mama come. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Drop my son off and shit. You know what I'm saying? For real, nigga, I had to, bro, I had to get my son, bro, from from motherfuckers I don't even know. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. you know, yeah. So you know, I got my son, I got everything. So you know, I had to make sure you know they get back home straight. You feel me? So you know, once I'm out there and I, you know, like doing that shit, getting them out there, you know, I get the call. And you know, nigga, like, yo, man, dude, shooting a video and shit, and all that. And I'm like, the fuck, like, yeah, my niggas, you know what I'm saying? They ain't even let me know, what, you know. Mm. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, reach out to the nigga, call a nigga, whatever. Yeah, man, fuck, he ain't want, he, you know, he ain't want to talk or whatever. I'm like, I right, for sure, cool. And then, uh, like two days after that. You know, they call like, yo, you know, we got to fly for you, you know, come come back to Miami, all that shit. I'm like, man, I ain't coming no fucking way you did till I holler at dude. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, it's like, I'm not about to fucking fly all the way out there and it's just going to be me against him and a bunch of yes men. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, yeah, man. So, you know, we kind of like, you know, Kind of like, well, I kind of like, you know, backed over from that. But, you know, like over the, you know, over the time, you know what I'm saying? Time period and shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, we got cool and shit. That's what's up. Yeah. You, you were compensated for that, though, properly, obviously, right? Fucking right. That's right. <laughs> Fucking That's right. But you know why, though? And I'm going to tell you what's funny, bro. Like, mm-hmm. I was compensated, bro, because I, I, I went and did my own publishing deal and shit, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you what's crazy. And then, like, I did it because I knew what I was doing and I knew I had to get Nah, bro, bro I, I stumbled across all of that shit. Damn. You know what I'm saying? For real, man. Wow. Like, rest in peace. Rest in peace to Fifth Wall Weeby, man. Um, Like, you know, we was in a conversation, me, him. Uh, Mr. Mina, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, they, they, you know, local legs out of New Orleans, you feel me? And they was telling me, like, yo, man, you know, this song's spinning on the radio and everything, that man, like, you know, you ain't got no publishing for this shit. And I'm like, publishing, like, like mm-hmm. what you, mean? you know what I'm saying? And, mm-hmm. and they explained all this shit to me and they gave me the number to the guy they named Travis, Travis Mc, uh, McFedrick, you hear me? I'll never forget this nigga, man. I still talk to him to this day. Um, you know, they gave me his number and I talked to him. He was like, oh, well, shit, man, we could, you know what I'm saying? We could get you this and that and that and that. I'm like, well, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Shit, let, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? That was one of the smartest 
moves I ever did in my life. Hell yeah. That's one of the smartest moves I ever did in my life, bro. And, and you know, like that shit, until this day, like, you know, shit, I still get checked from his officer, you know what I'm saying? That's what's up. <laughs> like, damn. for real. I was like, damn, God forbid what would have happened if you didn't have that conversation with the OGs and that didn't happen. That would have hit a little harder. You know, yeah, yeah, man. I probably been in jail, bro. Well, thank God. <laughs> thank God you're not talking about somebody that's obviously going through some some situation. Kodak Black, um, mm. talented ass rapper, but seems yeah, to bro. Be in trouble. Can he have a career once he gets out? Do you think Kodak Black's gonna be yeah, good? Yeah, he's gonna have a yeah, he's gonna have a career, bro. You did. You know why? You know why he's gonna have a career? Because there's nobody else that sound like dude, bro. Like dude is original. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And his originality going to give him longevity, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, you know, like, I'm a fan of his music also, bro. You did what well, he just, you know, he, like I said, man, you know, you did, like, you know, young, you ain't that, man. And you just, you know, just caught up in that, you know, in that life. You feel me? Yeah. For real, man. For real. Like, I think, I think we go to forgetting that the goal is to make it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. don't wait until you make it out and get all these millions and shit. Then start going backwards. You know what I mean? For real, I, I hate to see that, man. Right. I really be hating to see that, bro. Yeah, we just got a few more questions, man, for you. We uh, definitely appreciate you taking the time out. Hell yeah. To come here on the Hip Hop Uncensored um, podcast. What advice would you give, you know, any new artists, up and coming artists, you know, coming into the game? Like, you know, what should they do? What should they, what should they do? Um, you know, still original, man. You know what I'm saying? Pick your lane. You hear me? That fish yourself and be yourself. You hear me? Like, don't try to, don't try to come with no gimmicks and shit, man. You hear me? Because when you a gimmick, you get exposed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Thanks. And that shit gonna, and that shit gonna hurt you harder than anything in you for real. You feel me? So be yourself, man. Pave your own way. You know what I'm saying? Um, stay on top of your business. You hear me? Fuck the haters. You know what I mean? Don't let nigga tell you what you can and can't do. You dead shit. You keep keep pushing, you hear me? And they had that self have self-confidence. Self-confidence is real, is key, bro. Because if you just sit around and you just waiting on everybody else approval, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You'll never, you'll never feel like you're good enough. You feel me? For real. So you hear me? Had that self-confidence, man. And have hell of a drive, man. Dope, man. We appreciate you. Humble to have you on. If you to be transparent as you've been, man, it's definitely humbling. What's next for KK, man? What can the people expect from you next? Yeah, uh, 2014 Maison Street is out right now. You know what I mean? I just uh, dropped that like last week. Dope. You feel me? Yeah, man. Yeah, we're all shit out right now. For real. As far as like, look, out of... All the questions y'all ask me, you know what I'm saying? I answer all that shit on my help. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, make sure y'all go and get that. You're there streaming on all platforms and shit like that. Dope. Uh, shit, man. Hey, that's it. You're there on for Be expecting just more and more new music. And where can they find you? I drop your handles as well. Twitter, Instagram, all that. Oh, oh. Um, Shit, that should be all dick, cause I I got a long ass name. Just, <laughs> just, just, just fucking you know, for real, yeah, man. Like, just type in kid, kid. Um, I'm the the, the the black nigga with the blue check. Yeah, but that's yeah. all you know is me. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt, man. But now I'm gonna appreciate you, man. Much success. You know, if you have up in Jersey, yeah. you know, what I mean, you can definitely come to the studio. You know, what I mean, we'll definitely yeah. appreciate you, man. Sure. No doubt. All right, that's a bet, yeah. Love. All right, bro. Peace, peace. Appreciate you. Kid Kid in the building today, baby. It's Monday. It's a motherfucking work week. You know how we do over here at Hip Hop yeah, yeah, yeah. Podcast. No matter what we got going on, no matter what we're going through, we always get it fucking done. Shout out to yeah. Kid Kid, man, for getting up out of bed. Yeah, and having an interview with good. us, man. Definitely a good one, man. One of all the Southern hip hop vets Indeed. in the game putting on for the city. Of New Orleans, Louisiana, man. But yeah, man, if you enjoyed this program today, man, smash that five star rating right now and make sure that you subscribe right now to the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. Don't wait, do it right now because you're going to want to get all these episodes. And we got a powerful week of guests lined up for you guys. So, hey, man, 
Get ready. Hit that subscribe button. Get ready.